That is perfection. I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't lie to you ever. amazing people y'all thumbs up this video or thumbs it down if you don't enjoy it okay but please the engagement means everything I'm gonna say that in the beginning of every video because it does make a difference okay also thumbs up for your girl coming on here with her natural hair out I did another big chop um I don't know I just don't like a whole lot of hair on my head with the exception of wigs I know that may sound weird but yeah um your girl did another big chop and I'm gonna be wearing my hair more often because I'm you know I kind of enjoy the look on me so thumbs it up if you do enjoy you know what I got going on on the top of my head y'all thumbs it up all right so I did promise you guys that I would show you guys the corn recipe that I have that is absolutely the bomb.com every time I have some type of get together for instance uh the week before last I had like a um SEC game party situation where LSU played Alabama I cooked this corn dip and it was a major hit. Um, even for Thanksgiving, I'm going to have this as one of the side dishes. So if you okay, like corn, you definitely want to check this out. And it's going to be, again, a mukbang slash cookbang type of situation. So, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys what all you need. You're going to need. Now, depending on how much you're making, I'm only making enough for the juice man myself. And my mom said she wanted some for when she come up. But um, you're going to need whole kernel sweet corn. Corn. Make sure you get the whole kernel. Do not get the cream corn, okay? Make sure it's whole kernel, sweet corn, whatever brand that you enjoy. You're also going to need a can of Rotel. Now, if you're going to use maybe more than three cans, I would say use two cans of Rotel because the, the flavor from the Rotel makes a huge difference, okay? So you're going to need a can of Rotel. Um, you're also going to need some mayonnaise, okay? What mayonnaise does, I think it binds it together and helps it to, you know, you know, just form more of a dip type of consistency. Um, you're also going to need some sour cream. I'm only going to use this little small thing of sour cream. If you're going to be making more than three cans, you're going to need the bigger container of sour cream. I think it's like uh, 16 ounces or something like that. Um, you're going to need a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper, okay? You're also going to need, this is a whole thing of cream cheese. You probably, because everything is white in here, but this is a whole thing of cream cheese. I'm not going to use all of this cream cheese. I'm only going to use half of it, or I might use the whole thing because the juice man and my mom, they like the cream cheese in it, and you're also going to need some green onions, okay? And literally, all you're going to be doing is dumping this stuff. Now, um, usually I get just the cheddar cheese alone, but this time I got the cheddar cheese mixed with the little Monterey cheese just because I wanted to see what that flavor is like. Now, if you really want to kick it up a notch, I'm not going to use this today, but if you really, 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 really want to kick it up a notch, what you need to get is some of this ranch dip powder stuff and sprinkle it in there and bomb, okay? But I, I'm really not, you know, I really don't want it today. So I'm going to opt to not use this. And literally all you're going to do is dump this stuff. Now, one of these cans of corn... I drained completely, okay? One can I drained completely. And this is just the bowl that I'm going to be mixing everything in. And remember I said this is going to be a cook bang. I usually cook this in the oven, but today I'm actually going to cook it in like a little electric skillet situation to see how that turns out, all right? But um, you're just going to basically just dump everything in your bowl because you need to mix everything first. This is the can that I did not drain completely because you do want a little bit of that corn juice in there. I did drain a little bit of the juice from the Rotel, but don't drain all of the juice, okay? Don't drain all of the juice because, again, you want that, that flavor. Next up, I'm going to put my sour cream in here. Now, again, uh, I think all of these flavors really make the dish. If you don't enjoy sour cream, I really don't even know a substitute. I mean, I, can, I guess I could probably say maybe yogurt or something, but I'm not really sure how that yogurt is going to taste. In here, I'm not even a yogurt fan, but I do see that a lot of people that um, don't enjoy sour cream, they usually substitute yogurt for the sour cream. So that's something you can try. <laughs> not guaranteed how it's going to taste, though. Just keeping it real. Next is going to come your um, mayonnaise. Now, I don't put a whole lot of mayonnaise, but you want to put enough mayonnaise 
where it's going to bind everything together and give it sort of a dip like consistency. So I'm just gonna put, that's maybe like three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Now trust me on this. I know y'all probably like, nah, that don't sound too good, but let me tell y'all, okay? This is what it looks like so far with your sour cream, your mayonnaise, your corn, and your rotel in there. So I'm just gonna mix this up before I add my cream cheese. I should have got a better spoon, child. So how are you guys doing on today? Look, y'all, um, let me know in the comment section down below. I did this on my thrifting channel. If you're not subscribed to my thrifting channel, again, definitely subscribe to that channel. I do a whole lot of fun things over there, mostly work at home related things. But I'm also going to be doing some product review type stuff. I'm probably going to do more mukbang thingies over here with the occasional vlog mixed up in there okay as you can see this is what it looks like kind of a watery dip like consistency trust me all right now i'm gonna go ahead and dump my cream cheese in here and i'm gonna mash it up now what i did and i am using the whole thing because again my mom and the juice man they do enjoy uh the cream cheese in it so what i usually do is i leave the cream cheese out on the counter for a little while so that it gets like room temperature soft but this time i threw it in the microwave for a couple of seconds to kind of soften it that way i can distribute it a little bit better in the dip okay in the dip in the dip and you're just gonna mash that up in there and again because that cream cheese was really really soft it's um working around in there really good plus once we put in this in this electric skillet Girl, trust me, it's going to um, it's gonna disperse, dis distribute itself perfectly fine. Trust me when I tell you, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this mix. Not a lot. I do not measure, you guys. Literally, maybe half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. I don't even think it's gonna, you're going to need that much because the cheese is going to be pretty salty, okay? Also, you're going to put a little bit of black pepper. I always, when I'm cooking my, um, just my regular, uh, corn on top of the stove, the canned corn, I always put a little bit of salt and I always put a little bit of black pepper in there. Now I do hate, I ran out of my sea salt, so I had to use a little bit of table salt, Morton salt with that. But this corn already has sea salt in it. Sometimes you need to add your own salt, but again, you saw I put literally not even a whole teaspoon in here. Now, this is what the consistency looks like so far. Trust me when I tell you, it is going to be thebomb.com. Next up, I'm going to cut up some of these green onions in here. I am going to leave some of the green onions for the top. Um, and, you know, everybody knows how to cut up some green onions, y'all. I don't have to show y'all how to do this, but I just have my kitchen shears here. And I'm just snipping them into the dip. Now, I like a lot of green onions. Juice Man ain't a huge fan of them. He like them, but he ain't like a huge, huge fan of them. But I like a lot of green onions in my dip. And my mom loves them. But again, remember I told you guys I'm going to leave some for the top. Okay? And this is what it looks like so far. I'm trying not to spill it. And again, remember I'm going to leave some for the top. The cheese comes next. Now, I am going to save some of this cheese for the top, but you want to put a little bit of the cheese in the inside of the dip as well, okay? And remember, this, this dip is going to last us, I know, four or five uh, days with three people eating off it. So as you can see, you're going to put half of the bag in the inside of the dip. And just stir it up. And again, this is mild cheddar cheese mixed with a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese, okay? Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to taste it to make sure it has enough salt in it and all that stuff. Because now is the time where I normally will put it in my casserole dish to bake it in the oven. But again, because I'm doing a cook bung, I'm going to be cooking it on, you know, in an, in an electric skillet on today. So... I'm going to take my fork here that I have, and I'm going to taste it to make sure it tastes okay. But I don't need to add any more salt. I'm pretty sure I don't, though. But just to verify. Girl, that's perfect. That is perfection! Let me tell you. Okay. 
Girl, that's so good. I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't lie to you, ever. Let me go get this electric skillet and we gonna get to uh, cook banging. Okay, y'all, so again, this is gonna be kind of a cook bang slash product review. This is a Bella electric skillet that I got from Walmart. It was like $19.97. It's supposed to be non-stick. We're gonna verify that on today, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top off, of course, and we're gonna dump our corn dip in into this electric skillet. Remember, I usually bake it in the oven using a, a casserole dish, okay? But because I'm doing a cook bang, I can't bake it in the oven because I don't have an oven up here in my office. So we're gonna use this electric skillet. And I wanna show you guys what the consistency look, looks like. As you can see, you see that? It's not really runny, but this is the exact consistency that you want, okay? And I'm sorry, y'all know I'm new to this. I'm putting a bowl all in front of my face, but I'm gonna move this camera so you guys can see what it looks like thus far. Or maybe I can just move this up to y'all. I think I can. Let's do that. All right, as you can see, you see that dip situation? Girl, I'm gonna show enough give y'all a view of it when um, I take it out of this pan. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my cheese on top. So we use half of the bag inside of the dip and we're gonna use half of the bag on top of the dip. This is gonna be really good, y'all. And again, this is enough to last really four people about three or four days, okay? Because, I mean, you ain't going to eat a whole lot of this stuff because you're going to be dipping chips in it. You can also dip corn chips or whatever you enjoy in it. But let me show y'all what it looks like so far. Do you see that? Looks delicious, doesn't it? Ooh! I'm going to show y'all what it looks like after it gets bubbling. Okay, so I think it's ready, y'all. Did y'all see that bubble action? I'm telling y'all, bomb.com, okay? It's even better if you put it in the oven. Like I said, this is my first time doing it in the electric skillet, but oh my God, it's so bubbly. Do y'all see that? <laughs> bomb, okay? So what I'm about to do is I'm about to cut this off and I'm gonna chop the rest of the green onions on top and we're gonna taste it and we're gonna talk. Okay, here we have the rest of our green onions that we're just gonna chop on top for presentation purposes. I haven't cut it off yet, that's why it's still bubbling. Oh, y'all. Okay, remember where I said if you really, really wanted to set it off, put that um, ranch dip in there because it's gonna be super, super delicious. But I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Um, hopefully it doesn't burn my mouth off and I don't wanna get no Holly Tosh's breath. But those of you that don't know, if you constantly eat hot food, um, yeah, you can get Holly Tosh's. Just saying. This is so hot, y'all, but I already know it's going to be a so good, a so cheesy. Let's dive in, boo! Okay, so I'm just going to try this. I'm not going to eat a whole lot of it because, like I said, I wanted to kind of um, show you guys how to make it. But I'm telling y'all, I already know it's the bomb.com. I already know is the bomb diggity dot com also y'all let me know um this is something that i'm thinking about doing when we do these cook bangs because the juice man is going to join me for some of the cook bangs but i'm thinking about doing like muck bang slash cook bang murder mystery series type situation that way it gives me something to talk about while i am actually doing the mook bang you know what i'm saying so y'all let me know if you um are interested in that. I do want to get one of these green onions on here, though, because I love, again, I love green onion. Um, but y'all let me know if that, is, that will be something that you guys would be interested in, okay? But let me blow this off because I don't want to burn my mouth. Okay. Family. I'm telling you, if you like corn and cheese, try this recipe. Y'all, I, I bull crap you not. This is one of the best corn dip. This is one of the best corn dips that I've ever had, for real, okay? 
And I'm not being funny. I saw this, um, I saw, I got this recipe a couple of years ago from somebody I was watching on YouTube. I could not remember her name. Lord, please forgive me. I think it was Happy Dimples. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I think it was Happy Dimples, though, that I got it from. But I tried it, and I've been hooked ever since. As a matter of fact, every time my uncle from New York comes to visit us, he always tell me to make him this corn dip because it was that good when I made it for him. He was like, you got to make me some more of that corn dip. And again, the juice man and my mom, they really, really love it, y'all. It is, it's, it's the bomb, I'm telling you. Mm. Girl. So. Have you guys heard about the Anaya Blanter case? If you guys don't know, definitely look that up. It's a um, young lady. I forgot how old she is. I don't know if she's 19, 20. I forgot. All I know is she um, was living in Auburn, Alabama, and she just went missing. The last sighting they had of her was in a, in a gas station where she came in there and she bought some, I think they said some potato chips or something like that. Literally just gone. And they started getting leads that, um, literally just gone. Like they did recover her vehicle. The vehicle was wrecked. They did see that there was some uh, blood in the vehicle that was, um, pointing towards a life-threatening injury. What type of life-threatening injury? They don't know, of course. But it, it, it did indicate that there was some type of life-threatening injury that Anaya suffered from. Now, they did get some sort of lead from the gas station. It was a guy in the gas station, um, Abraham Yazid or something like that. He was apparently the a person who was in the gas station with her, and he apparently kidnapped her. But the thing that really tripped me out was there was a person that saw him take her and they didn't say anything. Like they legit saw him kidnap her and they did not say a thing. And I was like, hold on. Now, they do have like I think the reward now is like $100,000 or something. I don't know. Probably over $100,000. And now people are just coming and giving all types of different tips and stuff. That's the same thing that happened with Little Cupcake. People started donating money. Then people started to talk. And I don't care what nobody say. Still to this day, I honestly and truly think that there's more to the story. I'm not saying the two people that are in, in jail are innocent. I'm not saying that. However, what I am saying is I think there's more to the story. Okay? I think it's a little bit more to the story. And I think that daddy, I think they probably need to really look into him a little bit more. If y'all would have saw some of the stuff that he had been posting on social media, y'all, I mean, it, it, it looks real peculiar to me. Y'all, I'm just, I'm just so in awe of this freaking dip. I think I like the fact that the Mon the Monterey Jack cheese with the cheddar cheese mixed together. I think um, I'm a fan of that. I'm probably going to eat maybe two, three more chips. Then I'm going to be done because this is really, really rich. And I don't want to, you know, I ain't trying to do all of that. But um, have you, did, did you guys follow the, again, the um, little cupcake case? What do you think about the two people they have in jail? If you've really been following the case. And also there's this lady here on YouTube. Her name is Undisputed Truth. Now. Mmm. Her name is Undisputed Truth. I know everybody don't believe in this type of stuff. Now, I would never go to one of these types of people and get no reading on myself. But... Everything that woman, well, most of what the woman has been saying has kind of been hidden on the head. And what she does is she has like these cards that she lays out, lays out, and she says she's talking to the ancestors. I don't know what none of that stuff means. 
All I know is somebody had shared it on Facebook. And I was like, let me go and watch this. Because everybody kept sharing it. And I was like, wow, the stuff that she is saying is like coming true. And she's done several um, readings on Anaya. She's done one on, or well, a couple on Kanika Jenkins, I think. And several other people. She said that she mostly just does readings on people who are missing or people who have passed on different things like that. But the lady is, is she the truth? When it's the undisputed truth, she the truth. I don't know how this stuff, you know, works or whatever. But y'all should go and watch her undisputed truth here on the YouTubes. It's kind of freaky. Like I said, I don't play around with that stuff because sometimes you can invite some bad juju, okay? People who be around here going, getting oil, and different things like that. If you don't know what you daggone doing, you know what you're going to do. You're going to be inviting some demons and some old things to be in your house, some things that you don't want, okay? I'm going to put it to you like that. I'm going to eat one more, and I'm done because, again, I'm full. But, and as y'all can see, I ain't really putting no dent in it. I just dug in this little part right here but quick little story that actually happened to the juice man's aunt and that's why y'all need to be really careful when it comes to you know you taking this oil to any and everybody you don't really know these people like i said sometimes people be praying for your downfall don't they don't be praying for your good they be praying for your downfall and i'm not saying that's what this person did but you really have to be careful with like I said, you can't go to everybody and tell everybody to pray for you, okay? You just can't. But she went and got some oil blessed, and she came back, and she was just putting the oil on everything. Just thought she was blessing the house. I mean, she had very good intentions. However, she invited something into that house that was very evil and demonic, okay? And the reason why I said it is because, and I'll let the juice man tell, tell you his side of the story one day, because he was there way more than I was. But whenever you were there, all you really could do was sleep. You really didn't have any energy. It was always things that were moving, lights cutting on and off. They were even seeing little apparitions, okay? And all of this happened after she put that oil on everything and after she gave it to this man to bless it for. Freaky deaky. That's why I said, I don't look. And that lady, she showed you how to make these oil-based candles and stuff. I don't play with that type of stuff. I don't know about nobody else, but I don't play with that type of stuff. Now, what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to tell me, have you ever, have you ever gone to someone who's done a reading on you or have you ever done a reading on somebody? Do you, do you even believe in that? Let me know. Because I know there are a lot of people who have a lot of differences of opinions when it comes to that type of stuff. Okay, this is going to be my last bite then. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Family, this is so delicious. I'm telling y'all right now. Mmm. Y'all know fat folk gotta dance when they eat, y'all. All right, I'm gonna drink some water. And I'm gonna do my little closing. And I'm gonna go. So, let me know what y'all thought about this recipe. Let me know if you're going to try it. Let me know how you like it in the comment section down below. And also, let me know if you like my little haircut situation going on. And if you enjoy, um, and if you enjoy this little cook bang, if you want me to do more. Because like I said, I will do more of the cook bangs here on this channel with a little bit of a murder mystery type of feel. Because I need something to talk about. Because it's really hard for me to cook and just have a subject to talk about at the same time. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below. And do not forget to give this video a big old fat thumbs up because the engagement does matter. Love y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!